Welcome to another episode of My Natural Life, where we inspire your mind, body, and spirit the natural way. I'm your trail guide and host, Vicente Harrison, and I'm here to show you how you can incorporate nature into your everyday life for overall health and wellness. On this episode of My Natural Life, we're gonna deviate just a little from our typical format to take time to give honor, say thank you, give shout outs, and answer questions to all of those that have been very supportive in following the program. Now, if you've been following the show and being a trailblazer with us, you would have learned on the last episode where we explained where this wood carving, the Tongan Pavai, originated from. Being that it's February, Black History Month, we wanted to take time to honor culture of African-American contributions to the outdoor environment and outdoor recreation. On trailer number two of My Natural Life, I used a quote from George Washington Carver, a renowned agricultural chemist and scientist of horticulture, who was also a graduate with his master's degree from Iowa State University. Now, George Washington Carver was made famous for his research of 300 products that he used to develop from the use of just a peanut. And no, I'm not talking Charlie Brown. Shout out to Franklin. Now, it blew my mind as a child and even today that an African-American scientist developed over 300 ways from the use of a peanut products that we still use today, such as milk, soap, face powder, and printer's ink. But George Washington Carver's contributions did not stop there. Did you know that he developed over 118 different products from the use of a sweet potato? One of the most famous products that Carver developed from the use of a sweet potato was the production of rubber. Not only that, Carver also pioneered the applied science of chemergy, which is finding industry use and development of agricultural products. Now those are remarkable accomplishments by any standard, but that's also not so bad for a man whose family faced severe trauma whose parents were raised in slavery, and Carver was actually born the year that slavery ended. In 1865, 16,000 American troops were engaged in the Civil War. The Buffalo Soldiers Army Regiment were deployed in peacetime service to patrol many of the parks that we enjoy today. National parks such as Yosemite Park, Sequoia National Park, and General Grant's National Park. That's right, Buffalo Soldiers were some of America's very first park rangers. The duties they performed were duties such as building roads and trails, fighting forest fires, and evicting timber thieves. They were led by Captain Charles Young an African-American colonel, which was the highest rank for an African-American soldier at that time. Finally, I often get asked about the hat that I wear while I'm blazing trails getting footage in the field on this show. The design of this hat is called a Montana Peak. It was made famous by Smokey the Bear. This hat is credited to being brought to the National Park Service by the Buffalo Soldiers. It was also made famous a short while back, music artist Pharrell Williams wore this hat as a fashion statement. The Buffalo Soldiers were so esteemed that in 1903, President Teddy Roosevelt personally asked the Buffalo Soldiers to serve as his private security detail on a visit to the West Coast in San Francisco. It was the first time in American history a sitting president asked an African-American unit to serve as a security escort. 
My hope is that you appreciate us taking time to honor culture and recognize African-American contributions to the outdoors, but most importantly, take time to read and research these facts for yourself. Well, now we're nearing the end of today's show, but we cannot end until we give a big thank you to each and every one of you, our viewers, that follow and have subscribed to the Artist Collective Group TAC G YouTube channel. Those of you that follow us on Instagram and Facebook, as well as our Twitter page, this is dedicated to you. We are grateful for your comments and we are thankful how you provide input to us so that we can improve this show each and every week. We have compiled a list of honor roll honorees that have been supportive since day one. Please look at this list and see if we recognized you. And if not, we couldn't list everyone, but maybe on our next tribute show, we'll be able to highlight you for your support of this program. As always, please remember to stay peaceful, stay healthy, and stay natural.